was familiar with Maastricht by passing through it, always to Venice. Maastricht is part of the backyard of Venice, and this is the problem. I always had a sort of negative image of Maastricht, but as you walk around, you see a lot of things which are very pleasant, and uh, I think its image of it is worse than the reality. In terms of the site, of course, I think it's uh, a really fascinating site and, and could really help re-energize this area. Physically and, and uh, socially, there's a lot of elements which are working. Maybe the, the, the totality isn't quite working. I don't think a museum can turn everything around. However, a community that decides to build a museum, it's always a good sign. A museum has a serious role as a public building. A museum is for citizens more than tourists. So the first thing is that it should be built for the people of the place. I think if it's done well, then tourists will come. But tourists also will leave. So you have to, first of all, your audience must be the local people. Publicness of the building could, could be emphasized by the architecture. We tried to make a building which purports to be quite public. So it's organized around a central hall which has an atmosphere of being a public space. When you walk in there, it feels like part of the city. It's nearly like a courtyard with a roof on it. Because I think that for the future of the museum, it has to be absorbed <coughs> into the normal structure of the city. It's important that people walk in and out. You know, even if you don't want to go to the museum or you just want to have a coffee or you want to meet a friend or something like that. So I think it's important that the building has a certain balance between being special and normal. This museum, it won't be a museum of objects, but it'll be a museum of stories. In other words, it has to work harder to be relevant to the people in mystery. So it has to offer something else. Clearly the temporary exhibition will give you address that problem and also the activities that go on it. The museum has to be generalized. It can't just be a sort of the type of building you go to three times in your life. You know, once when you're a child, once when you have children and once when you take your grandchildren. The museum has that danger. Uh, in a case like this, I think it's got to be a sort of cultural center to have events and those things. Then, then it can do something to the life of the city. I think we've done a, a, a quiet building. I mean, it's not a spectacular building. I think it's quality's organization. I mean, I think it's well organized. I mean, we've done a museum project <coughs> which works very well. We've come up with a nice plan. In terms of the section, it's also very clear. You know, you have the, more, the retail and the public things on the ground floor and the theater, uh, the, the auditorium. Then you have two permanent floors and then you have the temporary exhibition. So the, the, the changing exhibition which attracts most people, brings people up. And from, from an urbanistic point of view, we really concentrated on compacting the building. The issue is what should a museum look like and how should it behave in its, in its architecture. On the ground floor, I think it's not so difficult because you can find a certain level of transparency and accessibility. So we have a passage through, we have uh, shops on the ground floor. When you come up the staircase, you look over the square. That creates, a, in a way, a house with a facade. The architecture of museums, contemporary museum, has become a sort of game. It's an opportunity for architects to be very inventive. And I suppose my feeling is that the more uh, strange it becomes, the more exclusive it becomes, and the more alien it becomes, and, and less able in to become part of the city structure. So I think that was what motivated the architectural ideas, was to find a building typology and find a building organization that has allowed special things to happen inside, but quietly just becomes part of the city.